Hey guys, welcome to another math video. For this video, I'll be talking about logarithms. Basically, we're looking at the basics. Okay, so let's get started here. Okay, so we got two different types of log... Well, technically we got three different types of logarithms. And I'll go, through, I'll go over all three of them with you guys. Okay, so the first one here is log with the base B. Okay, so we got y here which is our answer b is the base and x is the exponent so in a regular logarithm logarithmic problem you're usually solving for the exponent but it all depends on what the problem looks like okay so logarithms here you got the base okay so logarithms here log so common logs are understood to have a base of 10. Okay, we don't normally write the base here on the bottom of 10, I mean, but any other base we would write. Um, 2, 3, 12, you know, something like that. Um, it, I should note that the base cannot be 0 and it cannot be a 1. And the last one we got here are natural logs. So log logarithm of nature. Ln, that's an L, not a 1. Okay, so natural logs are logs with the base of E. Okay, so we don't normally write them like this, we just simplify it to look like this. Okay, so these are the three basic types of logarithms here. And the last slide showed what the basic form looks like. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of examples here, and we're going to try doing this without any calculators. Okay, so log 100. So remember, if you don't see a base here, it's understood that the base is 10. So what, what exponent would make 10 into 100? Okay, so that's 2. Okay, so again, base 10. So what exponent would make 10 into a 1? And that should be a 0. Okay, so natural log of e. So remember, natural log is log base e. So what exponent will make e e? And that's 1. Okay, so the easy way to remember is that these are inverses of each other. They'll cancel each other out. So natural log of e is going to be 1. Okay, and natural log of 1. So remember, natural log is log base e. So what exponent will make e 1? It's kind of like this one here, the zero. Because the easy way to remember is anything to the power of zero is one. Okay, so we went over different types of logarithms. And we went through some examples. If you need to see the examples again, you know, feel free to rewind. Otherwise, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. And thanks for tuning in.